What's up guys, this is the Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna be looking at maybe the coolest gun I've ever had on the channel, and maybe the highest performing, we'll have to see. I actually have a gun very similar to this called the Atlas Hyperion, but this is the Atlas Athena. It is essentially a Hyperion, mostly, with a red dot. Uh, it is a single action 2011 style pistol, so I think 1911 with a double stack magazine, and it's got a slide, a frame, and then a grip as well. So you can change out the grip modules you want. All these guns are very modular, and uh, coming from a company like Atlas, you can order this any way you want. You can order this pink, you could do whatever you wanted to, and they'll do it for you. Uh, it comes with the SRO on it right now. It is the 5 MOA. That's pretty cool. I have an SRO myself that I've been trying out, so I'm excited to run it on this. I got this gun from Manning and Sons, and they were a fan of the channel, and they thought they could uh, give me some cool guns for you guys to see. So if you appreciate that, go over to Manning and Sons and check out what they have. Uh, they have a line of incredibly cool guns. This Atlas Athena is unique because it is a hand fit 2011 style gun with incredible accuracy and incredible speed in mind. It's got an incredible price tag as well too but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, it's got the full uh, length dust cover. It has the uh, flat style trigger which is about one and a half pounds. Absolutely insane. As I said the raised sights with the red dot mount. It's got a Chili E2 grip on it which is pretty awesome and it's got a very large magazine well with a oversized and uh, over heightened uh, magazine or sorry uh, thumb safety here which allows you to when you're on the pistol have more room for your support hand allowing you to control that recoil a little bit better It's got uh, slide cutouts there, full size bull barrel with the combat hammer. Every fixing you could possibly put on this gun, it's on here. So hopefully we'll be able to shoot it pretty well today. Uh, we'll shoot it up close, shoot it at a distance, and see how I feel about it overall. And let you know what types and niches that I think you could fit into this gun. But mostly, it's designed for competition. Uh, competition, or at the very least, a really blow the doors off your friends when you're shooting at the range with them type of gun. But I think this would flex very well into a home defense gun. Let's go check it out. And we're going to run some magazines through it. I don't have any of my rig or anything like that, so we're just going to be pulling magazines out of the old pocket. Maybe trying to do some pocket reloads. And we'll just pound a few rounds off and see how we go. We're not completely zeroed, but we're pretty close. Well, I'd say that's a pretty good group, though. Yeah. Pretty easy to see. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at the target. I'm gonna fall through this snow. All right, as you can see there, we're about 10 yards, 12 yards. The first group was the lowest, second group was the second highest. Pretty slow, or I mean pretty fast for that second group. And then the third group, they're all touching right in the middle, 10 zone there at 10 yards. Oh yeah, and I wanna mention for all you guys who think this gun is malfunctioning, it's absolutely not. And if you're worried about getting a 2011 because the slide doesn't lock back, you can do that. Uh, Atlas can make these guns either slide back or not and the reason why they eliminate it is because the magazines with the slide stop hold about 21 the magazines without the slide stop hold about 24 plus there's also other uh, failures that you can have during matches that include slide stop slide releases like holding it forward things like that and uh, in, a, in a match for example like a limited match uh, like where I shoot the Hyperion, you don't need a side stock because you do premeditated planned reloads at certain spots in the, in the, uh, on the uh, match and you don't need to worry about it. Hmm. 
This thing's a dream, you wanna shoot it? Yeah. Alright. Must that lock back? Yeah, right. it's probably empty. Okay. That lock back gets you. So Oh it's good. Stick that one in there. Here. You know how to handle a mag. I do. <laughs> Look at you, little baller. <laughs> what do you think? I like this. Oh, I love it. It feels good, nice and heavy, so it mitigates the recoil. What do you think about the dot? Dot makes I it actually easier. really like the dot. I, I don't remember what I shot that I didn't like it. Yeah, I always Maybe said you'd a, like them, but back, I think but you shot the RMR and the window's so small and sometimes the dot hard to find. But with a gun like the yeah. Hyperion, it recoils so little and the SRO is such a big window, it's impossible to lose the dot, so it's easy to it's easy to shoot. It's really easy to shoot. And normally, I'm not as good as you with the smaller targets, but with this one I can target transition pretty easily so, and get those smaller ones. So what do you think about doing some Honest Outlaw, uh, Mrs. Honest Outlaw reviews in the future? I think, I think I'll probably get into that. <laughs> this is the fastest gun I've ever shot. It's got a, uh, it's got a 4.6 inch slide, which uh, Adam at Atlas Gunworks, I saw a video years ago uh, when he was talking about initially that the five inch was not ideal for the nine millimeter cartridge. It just wasn't made for the nine millimeter cartridge. And the 4.6 allows you to track faster and simultaneously allows you to, to limit the amount of perceived recoil. Well, I didn't really believe him until I actually went for it and bought the Hyperion. And now they have a red dot model. Like, I think this is gonna be a statement in the future. It's just unbelievable. You're not slow. It's not slow. <laughs> yep. All right, so we're gonna shoot this distance, but we'll have to do a little bit more later because out of the 12 24 round magazines we brought, I've shot them all already, but one. I think I can hit it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I can even ping that 10 inch plate from here. Oh yeah, we'll move back a little bit. Okay. All right, so we'll try that. Uh, we'll try the bigger target for a second. We're at about 90 yards now, and then if I can hit that 10-inch plate, I might go for something even smaller. But I only have a couple of rounds. There we go. Got him. All right. Let's try that really small plate. Just over it. <laughs> I have the first 300 rounds to this already of my 1,000 round review, did not take very long. Uh, maybe the most fun gun I've ever shot. And uh, like I said, it's all hand fit, accuracy is unbelievable, speed is unbelievable, recoil and pulse is extremely low, uh, the grip is exceptional. Uh, be aware though when you buy this, this, even the Chile E2 grip is a little bit less aggressive than the Phoenix, it is still very aggressive. So you're gonna notice that you're gripping it and that is one of the reasons why it locks in your hand. It does its great job, but it's also relatively uncomfortable without gloves if you're new to shooting handguns like this. Uh, this particular magwell is different than the one on my Hyperion, but I like this just as 
much. It's stepped down a little bit, it allows my old bear claws to get on there and get a tight grip on the gun. It has the uh, magazine release here that will accept an uh, extended magazine uh, release, which I don't know if I'll switch just because this is a T&E gun, but uh, I would recommend throwing a Dawson on there or something like that. Uh, slide release, again, is non-functional, but will lock the slide back manually if you want to do that or if you're uh, fixing malfunctions. But I did explain earlier why that is the case. Again, is it the best gun I've ever fired? Maybe, yeah, maybe. But it also comes at a fairly hefty price tag. I think these start off at around $5,000, and they're not for everybody. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more affordable guns on the channel as well, but I wanted to give you this because I got the opportunity for Manning and & Sons, and again, thank those guys. I appreciate them for sending this out because I wanted to feel what the top of the mountain feels like, and uh, no 1,000 around review yet, but just speculation, this is it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please stop by your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.